A 50 model. It's still a six bolt system. Yeah. See, that motor's gold. Some of them are green if they were Mercury's or bluish green. And uh, the red, and the black, and then the dark green. <laughs> that said, it's a 239. I don't know how you tell them apart. I stroke, I guess, and bore. At least they put a correct hose on it. Say, what'd you give, $100 for it? <laughs> yeah. So, hard top. I've never seen a 50 mile hard top. I've never seen any of them hard tops. I've seen a lot, 51. Have you? Quite a few of them. The 49 and all, that's all I've ever seen was the post. But it's got Victoria Road on it right here. And... I don't know if it come on it or not, but on the speaker cover, it's got a little bit of Victoria sound. Yeah. So I know some of the, well, I don't know. It, some people called it a 300 chrome on the 50 models, and I think it was on the uh, 54s. It checked down and come back up from the wheel wells. Well, it, they had one of these. It was called Crestline. Okay. And it comes. Yeah, it was up. Yeah. And it was two. Most two, all of them I ever two, tone, two tone, yeah. Well, that's what the Victoria would have been one step under the top because uh, Crown Victoria, supposedly the 50s had the Landar bar. Ones before didn't. It had the Beltline chrome all the way around it and the chrome around the windows. So, well, I've never seen one under a 55 called a Crown Victoria. Okay. Well, the 54 was a glass bubble top, right? Yeah, me and Robert had were, one. Were them. any of those Victorias? Cause it had a separating bar, they didn't it? They were Victoria's, but I've never seen one called, called Crown. Crown okay. Like Robert's, his was a Victoria. Yeah. But it, it that's the, the Crown had that big old wide. Right. It went all the way across. The top. And that's what I didn't know the difference in the fifty fives and the fifty six, cause it didn't go all the way on the headlight bucket on the fifty six. I think fifty five stopped short, and the check was in a different place. Check was further up on the door, I think. Yeah, fifty five chrome about that width. Were fifty six. Yeah. About that wide, I guess. About twice as wide. It ain't no cream puff, but. For what I give for it, I thought it was a pretty nice old car. Well, they, you can't buy a brand new one no more, so I mean. <laughs> yeah, that car's 71 years old. Yeah. Ago. But it's got brand new exhaust, mufflers. Your cat likes it. No, what? Your cat, or squirrel one, been walking up and down on the back of it. Probably a cat. Yeah. I got one that walks on mine. The other day I seen her on the fair lane, about snatched her off of that thing. I got three or four caps, ain't none of mine. Fender skirts. And yeah, I like this skirt pretty good, but some of them, you know, had them. Fat ones come all the way back, yeah. I didn't much like them. Is that glass? I That's like plastic, I think. I might have like redone it, right yeah. Right. New front emblem. And a, a 51, I just found this out looking at pictures. But a 51's got a little V8 sign right there. Okay, up on the top part, not the bottom part? Right, right, right along in there. Yeah, some of the cars, they had them up here and yeah. some of the 60s and some of them were down on the bottom. But I hadn't seen a 50, the shoe box or none of them with that little V8 sign. All right, SP6, what is that? SP600, like a R, A, C, C, A, Eight one one two A is that supposedly your VIN number that's yeah. stamped on the front of the firewall? Yeah, I've never seen them stamped that big like that. Oh, I guess it is. It's got that plate over there. Tag. Yeah, I had to carry it over there to the courthouse to get a tag for it. You got Grundy or somebody on it, or uh, just regular car insurance? <laughs> you got nothing nothing right. yet. Uh, I keep State Farm on all mine because Grundage is like 100 a year to 300 a year depending on the amount, the amount of the policy. And uh, as long as it's under lock and key, they're good. <coughs> you need a haircut. It ain't that cold yet. She's 
shivered like crazy. These yeah. That, that, that dog Braden had, it didn't weigh nine pounds. It'd shake, go outside to pee no matter what the temperature was. I've got two or three flatheads, and I got an early one that come out up front like that. Uh, the 36s, the 32 to 36s are up front, I think. And the trucks and later ones, the ABs are in the back. That's an 8BA instead of an AB, in which it might be BA, a later model. I ain't even fixed mine yet. I need an oil cleaner, oil filter housing beehive or something. Somebody showed they have one and I asked them, I said, well, I'll look for you one when I go to swap meet. That's what it shows you got one right there on the ground. It's the only reason I asked about it. Well, I know where there's a 50 model still in the car, but I mean the car, is, it, it wouldn't even make a rat. Yeah, it's rusty. But, must have been a Florida car near salt water and air. Oh, it's been sitting probably 50 years. That's got the original threshold plates on it still. They ain't been changed out. The interior was done, but they didn't change the threshold plates out. Yeah, that headliner looks like it's a convertible. <laughs> yeah, got the bead roll in it. As long as you don't suck it down at 50 or 60 miles an hour. I ain't seen their square brake pedals like that on them. Usually they rounded ones I've seen. Oh, UPS had a 57 model package truck. It had a uh, round brake pedals on it. When I left, they think the oldest they had was a 80 something. They done got rid of all the old ones. I was talking about said that they had put a newer style roof on it. Well, yeah. the quarter glasses, they had to put all the inner structure in and all. So somebody went to a lot of work. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, because it, it would have been easy. And I didn't know Roger's glass in his back doesn't fit real good. And on the way down there, he broke his front window. Brick come up and hit the front windshield, but not the back window. I said, well, I'd make sure when it come off that roll back, it'd have a back window get broke. He said it's leaked ever since they put it on there. But uh, I don't know what they did. They did transmission, went out, so they had Wayne to go get it, and they ain't touched well, they it. had a lot of trouble with that transmission. Yeah. Well, the motor was a crate motor, but it was a truck motor for a tow rig. It was not designed for a hot rod, so he had to change the heads out and all anyway. And it's... It's a work truck motor. Ryan bought it through general. When I had, it was in the 67. It had an overdrive. And Don's got a 54 with 427 with the overdrive. And the overdrive is built like a four speed. It comes out the side of the transmission, the shifting forks do and all. And he still got that behind the 427? Yeah. He said that thing would be quick. He said you'd shift it. Uh, some of them, when you mash the gas all the way down, it'd shift down into lower gear. You let off the gas and crack back into it, it goes into higher gear. So I don't know if his was set up that way or if it's the lever. The one in the truck, if you floor it all the way, you can push the lever in and then you got three more gears in higher gear. Uh, somebody said you can drive it like a two-speed rear end. First, first high, second, second high. But I said, that's a lot of in and out on that lever. And he said, well, it's electronic. You can put it on toggle switch. And he said, that's what that switch on the floor was. When you'd floor it, it'd push the switch down. So I don't know if Don's was set up that way or not. That, like you taking off, first and second gear both, it's like it's got a governor on it. If you When you throw it in third, <laughs> you can go then. Yeah. I told Robert, I said, I bet that damn thing got about 456 rear end. <laughs> oh, yeah. They, that one that come out that wagon was low like that, and it was behind that uh, Y block. It, it's a, might be a 555 or a 556 gear. Well, some, I don't forgot who it was, said it's probably a force. Did they make a 473? Seemed like he said. I know they made a 273, 275. I'd have to research on the older he said ones. It, it was probably a 470. Something. Cause that's got the banjo style yoke on them, don't they? Little straps that go through the yoke. I, I think so. That. Cause I think 50, 59 or 60 somewhere is when they quit using them. Up to the end, they said he'd bust them butterflies all the time. Did the 49's back glass come that far around on the side? Uh -uh. I didn't think it did. No, they wasn't much bigger than between these two pieces of chrome. Well, that's that's what I thought. I didn't think it'd all come this, around all this way. All this. That's why they call them shoe boxes. This, they don't even slant. They just come like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. 
And I don't think this is, I think this is more. Yeah, it's straighter, straighter up. It might be higher. It might be a higher roof line. The front windshield, you'd have to check on that too because yeah, if. Yeah, I bet a regular. Yeah. Regular shoebox car windshield wouldn't fit that. Yeah, because this one's laid back more. I think they're stood up more. Um, that green one we did for that guy, I guarantee you. And I didn't know the difference between Dad's and Erskine's because of the hard top and the post. That roof's like five inches higher in the post car than it is in the Crown Victoria or I Crown car. Taller, but I didn't know there was that much. Yeah, oh, God, yeah. You sit in, and that's what Daddy kept the seat out, but the seat springs are three inches higher. So then you got another two inch higher on the roof on the seat. You couldn't even sit in it. And I didn't realize they were that high until Daddy's and Erskine's were side by side. And I was like, God, it, that, that's a big difference. Well, I really like the club sedan better than I do the Victoria in the 55 and 60s. I, I like that post. And yeah. That's, I went up there, you know, I bought it at Chattanooga at that Meekum auction. And I went looking at a 56 and a 57. And the 56, for some reason, didn't even show up. And that 57, it was a 292 with three twos. And a, somebody had put a four-speed in it because they didn't come with four-speeds. No. But it was a 312, and it had some kind of cam in it. But uh, I was going to go about 75 or 8,000 on it. And I figured it'd bring about 12. That damn car brought 30 thousand dollars. Them 32s made that thing worth more. But now it was, it was a nice car. It was immaculate car. Huh? It had the little hubcaps, the 57 like that. Yeah. And it was black with gray interior. But, it, but it was a two-door post car. It was a, a 300 custom 300 yeah but it had the that gold that wide chrome with the gold in it like yeah. the fire line you know that's what don skinner up there in uh cleveland he's got a 57 with the 300 chrome and he likes that because it comes back and checks and goes back and some of them had a wide back end some of them had a narrow back end um, but I, I couldn't believe that car brought thirty thousand dollars I mean. somebody wanted it even if it had been a two-door hardtop, I wouldn't have thought it brought. Because the 57 just ain't as... No. Well, it, it it outsold Chevrolet that year. The Ford. Really? Outs, that's the number one selling Ford car that they had that outdid Chevrolet. Well, you know, the 57, 8, 9, the hood opened backwards. Yeah, folded forward. And they said the reason they quit doing that, because when they was in a wreck, that it, damn hood would go through there and cut people's head off. <laughs> I never... I, they did wreck one. I seen one that's on YouTube. They had, uh, I guess somebody had donated one from a museum because they'd never did a crash test on one or something, so they wanted to do a crash test. They run that sucker into a Dodge truck or something, <laughs> and the, the car fared way better than that truck did. Mm. Yeah. I couldn't believe they did it, and they did an Oldsmobile. You know, those old 60-model bubble Oldsmobiles, yeah. big fenders and all, they wrecked one of them, and I couldn't believe that. And somebody said they got them from a museum because they weren't one that had been on the road rusty and then restored it was original nice clean car i bet they got them tires from that coker probably because there ain't no uh dry rotting crack on them ain't no shoe polish in them but whoever whoever had that car he had it was either eight or ten cars at that for sale you know yeah and he he didn't drive he didn't drive them cars he just had them in a museum. Well, that's what I was gonna say. The, every grommet, every wire. The only thing I don't think that braided fuel line there is factory, but it could be factory style. But his wires now the spark plugs are different. They would have uh, uh, been a cloth coated wire, and they sell them because I looked into them. But you know. Now I wonder has that old motor ever been through or is that. All original. If it'd been sitting in a museum and he never did it and might have, because this rubber here is original. It's got the cracks and the staples. They ain't been replaced. That's an original weather. So, all original cloth wire. That ain't a new one. That's an old that, original. That ain't no factory boat. No. But they'd probably had it out. Might have had the radiator. It's original. 
unless they've had one record because the new cores don't look like that. Got that little dip in it. Most yeah. of them are just straight across and got the fins. And see, it's got a inscribed mark, so he probably took it in and had it worked on and then brought it back and put it right back in the car if he's had it rotted. The only thing, the, the hose clamps on the belts right here are the newer style, but these are the older style. Those are correct. So, like I said, the distributor. Well, later on, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to find somebody to change it over to a 12 volt. Yeah. I didn't think it was going to crank in there a while ago. That damn six volt just. That won't turn it <laughs> enough. It ain't got enough well, volts to turn it over. I don't know. I know Ray always talked about the tractors were six volt. Well, you never change a starter. You just put a 12 volt battery onto that starter. It don't know it's got 12 or six volts and it'll crank it. But your headlights will blow. Yeah. If And I don't know if your coil, you have to change your coil. But other than that, I don't think you'd have to change your generator maybe. Change well, it to an alternator. Told me, Robert told me, put an eight volt battery in here. Yeah. And can somebody you get an eight you volt? Got, you got yeah. You got to change the regulator. Yeah. But I seemed like they told me you didn't have to change that generator. You might not have to. That's what I'm saying. Some of them put out just whatever it it charges so much, and uh, your light bulbs on front and rear, your wires, you ain't gonna have to change your wires. Cause they're they're plastic coated, they got wire or uh, cloth wrap, but these outer ones are plastic. This, this car's got a positive ground. Okay. Cause this is a positive and it goes to the grounded ground. right yeah. there to the block. Yeah. And I just wondering if I did put an eight bolt in here, it you, just seems like when you hook that positive to a ground, you gonna blow something. Well, that's that dad messed up on that fifty four. He was hooking it up backwards and getting it running. It kept shocking him. That's what got his heart out of rhythm. It was shocked because he's putting 12 volts to a 6-volt system trying to get the crank and run. It was biting the shit out of him. The coil was. That's what shocked and jumped his heart and got it out of whack the first time. Because if you hook it up the other way, you mess up a lot of stuff. Because your voltage regulator well, runs. Making, the, making this it, the hot. Yeah. Because everything's running backwards then. You're grounding. Then if I got an 8-volt battery. You got to hook it up I'd positive still... to the ground. Yeah. I don't understand that. <laughs> it's just it just the voltage runs the other way. They power in the whole all the metal of the car instead of grounding it. Cause your radio and your dash and everything, all your grounds the way a regular car, you ground your headlights to the frame or you ground your headlights to the body. Well this is the opposite. That's the power supply instead of the ground. Do you know that little old guy that comes in jacks he, he gets his food to go shorty? Yeah, it lives over there in uh Brookside. I, I think know. that's Brookside. He used to drive a maroon Mustang. Yeah. Drives a little S10 most of the time now. But they say he he used to be a whiz banger on them. I don't think he works on them no more. Um, I seen them when we was over there. I uh, was working on the road crew. They was paving that over there. And he come by. He had a trailer that he rented out or something. He had a garden down there. He stopped wanting them to bring some of that dirt off the side of the road up there to his driveway or something. He lives right there on top of that. I think Ray's his last name, that Shorty Ray. Yeah. He had that Mustang, but that was last year, around this time. I hadn't seen him since then. Of course, I ain't I ain't on no road crew no more. I ain't got to go out nowhere. But you know, these old motors, they put them Offenheiser heads uh -huh. on them and them three twos. Yep. And these things would run. Yeah. The combustion chamber, that's the thing. If you get a good one that don't run hot, you've got a good one. They said they're all bad about running hot, but and it looked like it had a water pump on this side, maybe even one on that side. I know this one's newer. It ain't even been painted where they put it on. Really? Yeah, that one over there is still painted. Well, that may be original motor. May not. Uh, it's got new exhaust on it run to the back. Oh, it's got, got new mufflers. Everything's brand new on that exhaust. Yeah. I mean, it ain't even hardly got no heat marks. <laughs> as much as them bolts have been painted over, I'd, I'd say it'd have been original. As good as the rubber and some other stuff is on it, I don't think he would have overhauled it. 
because the intake even where the paint is is there's so much paint around some of the bolts like you brushed the hammered gold paint on it mm -hmm. they might have just tinkered with it and got it running every once in a while that's what the museum the air flight museum guy told me they get all the cars cranked up every month they'll move them outside drive them around the block and put them back in every month i don't see this looks new yeah that's what i was saying all your your ground straps and the insulation on the firewall even looks new because it's not darkened over here on this side it's not hot it's not been melted or anything yeah. it's still new so they replaced because that's a new phillips bit it would have been a flathead i'm assuming in 50 because most of them were because that's flathead and that's flathead so the rest of them should have been a flathead yeah, and the about, heater box has been off and rebolted on about all the cars i wanted is it just out of my category i, I love the 46 7 and 8 models and the 34 is my favorite but shit them them sure enough out of yeah. my category but even I, the rust buckets are demanding high dollar price i, I, th I thought about <coughs> 51 because that's the year i was born but when this i didn't even really look at this car but when it went through for what it did i held my hand up well, I mean, if you had born 51, that, it, that, that, <laughs> it was on the assembly line when you were still in your mama belly. So it's close enough. That 55 Daddy had, it was all original, 1,500 mile car, set up there in the garage, never left Wild until he got it. Flames on. Yeah, the green ghost flames. I all saw the, that thing, it's been about two years ago. It was, it was over in Fairfield. Yeah. He's from Dolomite. They have really abused that car. He said he sent it back to Ford and had them rework the carburetors and transmission too, put automatic transmission fluid in it instead of gear oil. He said that that, that woke that car up. Daddy, he offered, Daddy offered to get it back from him. He says, I'll buy it back from what you paid for it. No, no, no. So, but he offered to buy it back exactly what he paid. And he had bought Daddy's first 56 he had. The race car he had and he wrecked. Yep. Oh, she's pretty. You can go to Sonic and get you some ice cream in it. <laughs> if you can get customer service. Last two times I went up there, it wasn't. They were something else. Still vacuum operated windshield wipers. But the chrome... I hadn't seen too many of them with the chrome up. I'm going to have to look at more 48s or 49s and 50s now. James had a bunch of them over there. And Daddy went over there to look and get trunk parts off of one for that green one we restored. But I do. I like the fender skirts better on this because they don't go all the way back. I wish it set up. I thought about putting some shackles on it. Raise the back. At least two inches. Yeah. Well, you know, if you stick a big block 429 over in the front, it'll drop the front and the back will come up. That's what everybody asked me about mine because mine sits lower in the front end. I said, well, you take a small block car and you shove a big block in there, it'll kind of do that because mine sits level. Mine's put up for the winter now. She won't get out. Ronnie said something about the car uh, Christmas parade over there. They need a few cars in it. Yeah, he's wanting me to come, but I'm, well, I was going to leave today, but.